Behind China, India is the second most populous country in the world. Around 60% of its population is engaged in agriculture and allied activities. Many organizations including NGOs are working to support the agrarian community for their overall empowerment. Agricultural Development Trust Baramati is one of the oldest dedicatedly working NGO which works for the farming community and women empowerment incessantly since 1971. Peculiar to the area problems like water scarcity and resulting poverty were very early identified by Honorable Sri Sharad Pawar, the founder president and the managing trustees. This resulted in them prioritizing the problems faced by the farming community. With political activities consuming most of his time, he handed over the responsibilities of the trust to his elder brother, Honorable Sri Appa Sahib Pawar, who himself was committed to society and the issues plaguing it. Mr. Appa Sahib traveled extensively overseas to study agricultural development. The technological know-how was passed on to the farmers. Facilities like nursery, soil testing lab were provided to farmers. With an aim to furtherance of technological advancement, an extension of the agricultural training center, popularly known as Krishi Vigyan Kendra, KVK, was demanded to an autonomous organization, Indian Council of Agricultural Research. Thus, an agricultural extension center, KVK, run by Agricultural Development Trust, Baramati, came into existence on 1st August 1992. The diverse agroclimatic conditions of the district were a huge challenge for the newly established KVK Baramati. One side with heavy rains and the other with drought. One side fertile and the other infertile. One side with nourished cattle and the other malnourished. Accepting this diversity, the training of drip, sericulture, animal husbandry was drawn out as supportive business to the farming community. Under the able guidance of Honorable Appa Sahib, each one of his team members worked relentlessly. He dedicated 25 years of his life for the trust and the agrarian community. After Appa Sahib Pawar, the responsibility of the trust was handed over to a person having depth of agricultural knowledge from India and abroad, Sri Rajendra Pawar. Getting ahead with the chairmanship, three Fs, farm, farmer and his family were at the core of Honorable Rajendra Pawar's mission. In the year 2000, KVK Baramati shifted to its new premises. The team of KVK Baramati was always after solving the problems of farming community. Following the mandates, everyone passionately accepted challenges and priorities like water management, skill development through agri-allied enterprises, upgradation, Provisions of facilities with inclusion of motivation and group dynamism were executed. Water management Considering the future threat of water scarcity, the KVK Baramati spread awareness amongst the farmers and introduced them to the concept of water management. This was achieved by means of water awareness campaigns. It also undertook the project of water conservations in various areas by means of construction of small buns and water storage structures in rain-fed areas. The project of water storage tanks drew attention of the then Cabinet Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Sharat Pawar. He included this project in the National Policy for Agriculture to promote throughout the country. The result of water storage was the cultivation of fruit crops like pomegranate, grapes by the farmers in water scarcity zone. 
KVK Baramati promoted water conservation, drip and sprinkler irrigation with automated computerized fertigation unit, demonstrating the use of calculated amount of water and fertilizers. Majority of farmers have adopted this technology which resulted in saving 40% of fertilizers and 50% of water. It undertook various campaigns of in-situ soil moisture conservation practices in drought-prone area benefiting more than 8,000 farmers in 200 villages. The earlier work of soil and water conservation now resulted in sufficiently full wells, buns and the green fields. Supportive Business If the farmer depends on traditional farming, he would earn only hands to mouth which is not sufficient for the entire family to survive. A modality to raise the family income of the agrarian community and serve them as a boon, KVK Baramati thought forth the various ways of supportive businesses to the farming community. Sericulture KVK Baramati started training in sericulture to promote it as a supportive business among the farmers. New varieties of mulberry and white cocoons were introduced in operational area. KVK started purchasing center for cocoons and made the entire process feasible right from the egg production to cloth production. Thousands of farmers gradually adopted this business. Dairy It was necessary to boost milk production improving into the financial status of farmers through the allied business of dairy. Hence the KVK Baramati inspired and demonstrated to the farmers the model of loose housing dairy farm, high quality proven Canadian bull, processing the low quality animal fodder, use of area specific mineral mixture and cultivating high yielding varieties of fodder crops. Demonstrations of silage tank, hydroponic fodder and other fodder related technologies were executed resulting rise to 7% in fats and about 30 to 35% increase in milk production. The farmer happily owes his success to KVK Baramati. Poultry The rearing of local poultry breed earlier was not so productive. Hence, to supply poultry breed with high productivity and to sustain this business, hatchery was set up by KVK Baramati to supply breeds like Van Raja, Srinidhi and Kadaknath. To uplift and empower the rural woman, KVK Baramati encouraged the backyard poultry farming. Thousands of rural women got benefited, improving their livelihood. Goat rearing had the same challenges as those of poultry. So facing this situation, KVK Baramati with the help of Nimkar Agricultural Research Institute, Fulton, increased the growth of rearing goat breeds like boar and sheep breed like Nari Suvarna, which is popular and in great demand due to its rich flesh and ability of giving birth to twins. Agrotourism Urban younger generations are losing touch with nature and culture, so they naturally get attracted to the rural areas. Agrotourism has a great scope to create additional source of income to the farmers. Thus, the center of agro-tourism along with the training center is brought up by KVK Baramati with the motive to drive farmers expanding into agri-tourism. Around 12,50,170 students and 8,60,370 tourists have visited the center till date. Fruit Processing Unit a well-equipped modern fruit processing unit sprung up in the KVK Baramati campus. The training is extended to women of self-help groups and thus the market flourished with the variety of pickles, amla candy, jam, jelly, syrup, pulp and many more. Till date, KVK conducted 100 training programs benefiting thousands of rural women. Seed Processing the conventional farmers were finding it difficult to cope up with the increasing cost of the seeds. To relieve the farmers from this problem, KVK Baramati established a seed processing unit. Farmers now, independently as well as in groups, market the seeds with their own group's brand name. Around 200 to 300 tons of seed is produced every year. 
more than 15,000 tons of seeds of various crops have been provided for cultivation on about 50,000 acres of land. Fishery Every part of farm must give financial returns to the farmers. Thus, the KVK Baramati spurred up with an idea of fishery in the water storage tank itself, which led to the rise of carp hatchery unit and an ornamental hatchery unit to breed and promote entrepreneurship development among rural youth. With the effective implementation of this agri-allied enterprises and the ongoing developments set alight the KVK Baramati to have its firm foot and win the trust and faith of the farming community. Farm Waste Management Burning the farm waste is not only harmful to environment but also to the soil. KVK came up with the ideas of decomposing sugarcane trash on the spot. In addition to this, processing wheat bran and trash and utilizing it in animal feed, similarly using other waste like of palm leaves, are being used to produce vermi compost. KVK Baramati disseminated all these techniques among the farmers. Now thousands of farmers are benefited in the operational area of KVK Baramati. No farmer burns cane trash is the success of KVK Farm Waste Management Program. In the year 2008, another KVK was sanctioned by ICAR New Delhi in Pune district. Now KVK Baramati has its work limited to seven blocks and thus each and every farmers of these blocks got linked with KVK. As a progressive development, an ultra-modern high-tech Krishi Vigyan Kendra with various facilities was set up and in the year 2014 it got shifted in new campus with modern facilities which included research-based extension center, micro-drip irrigation, floater solar panel, centralized automated fertigation unit, hybrid wind and solar system, soil and water testing lab, biocontrol lab, biofertilizer lab, apiary, fish hatchery unit, ornamental fish unit, ultra-modern dairy farm, poultry, animal husbandry, hydroponics unit and many more were established. The 110 acre farm was set up in a manner with vision of imparting and demonstrating the experiments in modern agriculture to the farmers. Staff Capacity Building KVK Baramati firmly believes in capacity building of its staff. Various training programs were organized including exposure to global technologies and then propagated widely in the operational area. Providing more facilities Soil Testing Laboratory As rightly said by Franklin Roosevelt, the nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. To improve the status of the agrarian community, a modern ISO certified soil and leaf pit oil analysis laboratory was established by KVK Baramati. In addition to this, a mobile soil lab which evaluates soil samples at farm level and provides the reports immediately to the farmers at local level. A unique project of KVK Baramati undertaken for the first time in India to seek the help of postal department for soil sample collection. Services at the doorstep were provided through the speed post services. Thus KVK reached to the unreached. This uniqueness was noted and appreciated by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, during his visit to KVK Baramati in 2015. Near about 1.7 million farmers were benefited by this facility. Biolab among the various factors limiting the crop yields, pests and diseases are the major factors which increases cost of crop production. The use of high concentrated chemical pesticides not only increase the production cost but also creates adverse effects such as pesticide residue, environmental pollution, health hazards and decreasing population of beneficial insects and pollinators. So, an ISO certified bio laboratory and plant health clinic was established at KVK. Through this unit, farmers are advised eco-friendly, cost-effective IPM practices. In addition, different awareness campaigns are conducted by the laboratory at village level. 
different IPM components, biofertilizers and biopesticides are supplied to the farming community on no profit, no loss basis. The application of these products have helped to increase the crop yield with lower cost of production. Apiary KVK Baramati has organized the training program since 2012 on apiculture to make aware the farming community about the importance of honeybees as pollinators. In 2015, Madhu Sandesh project was implemented by KVK Baramati. 350 hives of bees were provided for pollination to more than 800 farmers who were also trained on the safer use of pesticides which helped them to increase the crop yield by 20 to 30 percent to propagate conservation strategies for honey bee. KVK Baramati appealed the Department of Agriculture, Government of India to declare the honey bee as a national insect of India. Technology to fertilize land To step ahead with motive of soil health, KVK Baramati experimented different techniques to improve the fertility of saline and alkaline lands such as using subsurface drainage and mole plow system. The farmers are now well aware of these techniques and have improved their soil fertility. Implements Bank Not all farmers are able to purchase such implements at their own. Thus, KVK Baramati established innovative concept of Implements Bank for custom hiring on nominal rents. Majority of farmers from operational area and nearby have taken advantage of this bank. Crop Diversification KVK Baramati demonstrated many crops including sugarcane under crop diversification. Apart from that, cultivation of turmeric was also included. These made the farmers realize that turmeric has a good potential to generate more profit than many other crops. Nursery In order to provide proper pure planting materials, variety of seedlings of fruit crops, a modern four-star seedlings nursery was started at the KVK Baramati. About 2 million seedlings of various fruit crops were provided to the farmers. Likewise, sugarcane seedlings were also supplied to the farmers at their doorstep and farm sites, which have yielded in 30 to 40 percent increase, with the reduction in crop duration by about two months. Polyhouse The farmers constructed polyhouse with the help of government schemes, but they didn't have sufficient technical knowledge to use it successfully. KVK Baramati realized this problem and constructed polyhouse to demonstrate its use and train the farmers accordingly. It has also promoted the protection technologies for cultivation like mulching, shed net, tunnel skirting bag, covering bag among the farmers. Now many farmers are adopting this technology in their field. Center of Excellence KVK Baramati thought forth introducing various international technologies in India which should benefit the farming community. Meanwhile, Honorable Sri Sharad Pawar, the then Minister of Agriculture, Government of India, visited the Netherlands and MOU was signed between both ministries to establish several centers of excellence throughout the country and KVK Baramati took initiative to establish India's first Indo-Dutch Center of Excellence for Vegetables in 2014 through MIDH New Delhi and MSHMPB Pune. KVK assures the center will inspire, motivate and be an ideal agricultural service center for the entire farming community. The foundation stone was laid at the auspicious hands of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi and other dignitaries and after the completion of the infrastructure of COE, the inauguration was done at the auspicious hands of Honorable Mr. Albert Hendrik Geerwit, Agricultural Minister of the Netherlands and Mr. Pandurang Fundka, Minister of Agriculture, Government of Maharashtra, on 2nd November 2017. Use of ICT KVK Baramati has realized the role of information and communication technology 
to reach more and more farmers. Hence, it has taken initiatives to get more connected with farmers with the help of various medias like television, SMS facility which sends messages to 2.5 million farmers informing them about weather forecasting and other activities. KVK Baramati has created a Aqua website which solves the problems of the farmers within 24 hours. Now farmers are keeping themselves update with the help of website, Krushik app, Facebook, YouTube and WhatsApp. In addition to this, the community radio station of KVK Baramati, Sharda Krishi Vahini has proved to be the most effective media to reaching out to maximum number of farmers and helping them to gain knowledge of agricultural technology. The community radio broadcast programs are beneficial for the farmers such as interviews of experts in agriculture, the success stories of the farmers and many more. Education KVK Baramati serves the farming community by educating the farmers who are unable to get formal education, agri-clinics and agri-business training of entrepreneurship to the students having diploma or degree in agricultural and allied sciences and DAESI training program for educating the agri-input dealers who are not trained as untrained dealers can mislead the farmers about using fertilizers. Motivation and Group Dynamics Chaitra Pallavi Spring is the time when flowers bloom and trees begin to grow and reproduce. Similarly, to return with new energy, the farmers attend a unique program called Chaitra Pallavi, organized by KVK Baramati. Thousands of farmers participate in this program and exchange their experience and knowledge to each other. Discuss the challenges they have to face in future motivate each other, get inspired and work with farmers in their area. Above 3,000 farmers have participated till date. Farm Visits and Tours Nowadays, many farmers are successfully implementing advanced technology and methods to demonstrate and to exchange these methods, farm visits are being arranged. Farmers not only from Pune district but all over Maharashtra are benefited through these visits. Above 310 farm visits and about 325 gatherings were arranged in which about 1 million farmers have participated. Farmers Club It was foreseen that farming won't be easy, single-handed. To make farming more viable and profitable, group farming through Farmers Club made it easy. Such 154 farmers clubs and 1,400 self-help groups are formed in the area through which the thousands of farmers and farm women are directly connected with KVK Baramati Center, making group farming more easily successful. Food Grain Festival KVK Baramati organizes Food Grain Festival to provide platform for the farmers. It also helps the customers to avail the opportunity of getting fresh quality grains and farm produce without any adulteration at reasonable rates. There are no middlemen between the farmers and consumers, so it has proved profitable for farmers and customers. Initially, this festival started with the help of some small groups of farmers. Now it has reached to seven farmers producers organizations. These companies are providing grains and vegetables according to the demands of customers. 37,000 customers have purchased grains till the date. Padmashri Appa Sahib Awards the decision of felicitating farmers who have excellent contribution in agriculture was taken by Honorable Sharad Pawar and KVK Baramati started felicitating farmers and youngsters with Padmashri Dr. Appa Sahib Pawar Smriti Award to motivate them to achieve further excellence and has also helped farmers to be rewarded by other organizations and thus it has increased their confidence. Krushik, India's biggest live demo and agri-expo. The panorama of Krushik exhibition is absolutely different than usual exhibitions. The exhibitors are allotted 110 acres of land at the KVK instructional farm to showcase their technologies live to the farmers participating in the exhibition which includes demonstrations of various crops, implements and machineries. 
In addition to this, conducting seminars, animal show and many more other attractions. At least a million farmers have been motivated as well as benefited through Krushik till date. A rural carnival which is a never to miss event. Bhim Thari under able guidance of Honorable Sunanda Pawar with the aim of providing a platform to self-help groups and rural women empowerment. Bhim Thari is a special attraction in the form of huge food court. To disseminate the world-class agricultural technology in our country, various memorandums of understanding were done with universities like Wenigen and Van Hall Lerenstein University, the Netherlands, UC Davis, California, Lavras University, Brazil. In addition to this, various projects related to agriculture and animal husbandry are undertaken with the help of World Bank and European Union. Whereas collaborations with Indian Meteorological Department for Weather Information and Crop Life India for Project Madhu Sandesh are some of the feature projects undertaken. The dedicated work of KVK Baramati has come to be appreciated by the agriculturists around the world. It's indeed a pleasure for me to be present amidst you on this happy occasion of the formal inauguration of the new campus of Krishi Vigyan Kendro Baramati. Baramati mein badlao kaise aaya? Bhale aathi nao hit baris gir aati hogi, lekin hum pani rokenge aur usi pani ke bharo se jindagi jine ki taakat khadi karenge aur Baramati ke kisano ne ki hai? इस कृषि विज्ञान केंद्र में आने के बाद इसे मुझे प्रेरणा जरूर मिल रही है इन एडिशन ग्रेट डिग्नेटरीज एमिनेंट पर्सनालिटीज फॉरेन डेलीगेट्स एंड पॉलिसी मेकर्स हैव विजिटेड केवीके टू सी अपग्रेडेड टेक्नोलॉजीज इवन द फार्मर्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री हैव विजिटेड KVK Baramati and come away inspired to implement the advanced technologies they have experienced. Recognition of Achievement In year 2017, KVK Baramati has completed 25 years of its dedicated work, crossing yet another milestone, the results of which have been acknowledged by many institutes as well as the central government and it has been recognized by several national and international awards. Over time we can expect that new challenges will arise. KVK Baramati's promise is to meet the challenge and provide progressive services and knowledge to the farmer that will allow them to be successful. Future plans include projects like increasing the viability of nira, date palm, sugar beet on alkaline soil, residue free farming, improving the indigenous cow breeds, center of excellence for dairy, improving knowledge transfer with the establishment of science park to name a few. We just feel farmers will continue to visit KVK Paramati and will get motivated through innovative modern technologies in agriculture and they will always remain modernized adopting them in future nyanane unche gathanya sarvocha aambhi paul takale pudhe ne nya ha vikas mani thama swapna jhale hare bhumi putra tujhe स्वप्ने साकार हो नार उच्च स्थानी पोहचण्या झेप के भी के घे नार झेप के भी के घे नार बी द लाइट अनटू योरसेल्फ अपदीपो भव